Oh, thank what you. Was the, uh, what was the uh, ceremony like for you then? It was special, you know, my uh, parents were there. Uh, you know, obviously I was pretty nervous, um, but it was, a, it was a great experience. Now, Coach Moore was talking about how, at the, I guess at the start of your career, you had a, your first three attempts were blocked and to kind of cap it with this and kind of take us through uh, you know, starting like that and finishing with such a, such a nice honor. Yeah, well, you know, Coach Moore's Coach Moore has been there since the beginning. You know, he's always had my back, and um, you know, it's really lucky to have that. But honestly, it's just been a long journey, and um, you know, I don't regret anything. Learning from those experiences, those first th missed three P or those block PATs, um, was a great learning experience, and um, even even the big ones that I've missed, uh, I've, I've learned from it, and um, put it all together this year. So I've, I've been really lucky. Do you? Uh, did did you think about the NFL when you when you first got here? Was that something that was on your radar? Um, yeah, I think it is for everybody. Um, Coach Moore recruits guys who are looking to go to the next level, and um, it was you know it's one of my goals. And uh, I got uh, I was uh, fortunate enough to have Jeff Locke and Kevin McDermott um, here my freshman year, and I learned from them and um, how to do things. So uh, that's that's kind of the way it's gone so was there a time in the course of your career where you realized that it was going to be a you know you're going to have a really good shot not just a kind of a dream um yeah i mean uh you kind of just take it a kick by kick and uh you work hard you put your head down and work hard and you um, try not to listen to the noise like we always say but um yeah it's a it's a dream of mine and uh, it's a goal so i'm looking towards it with with one game left and then the senior bowl, what do you think? Is there anything you can do at this point to try and improve your NFL stock or is it kind of just your body of work now? Um, I think it's pretty simple for kickers, you know, just make the kick. <laughs> um, you know, there's always things to work on, whether it's the mental game or, uh, you know, just watching NFL games and uh, putting yourself in the situation that those guys are in and taking mental reps. So uh, in that way, I think there is. and. Um, Obviously, it's going to be a long off season and working on my body and uh, you know working hard like we have been. You didn't make a 50 yarder, I think, until this year. It was your first 50 yard field goal, and you made a 60 yarder later in that year. Uh, what did you do to add distance over over your four years here? Um, I don't think it's been too much a distance has been a problem. Uh, it's more just connecting uh, accuracy from that range, but um, you know just having the right opportunities and uh, really really focusing on keeping the same kick every time, um, you know, and not changing things because it's a farther kick. So uh, I think in that way, uh, mentally, that's what's changed throughout the years. How far are you good from practice? What's the, what's the record with a with brush, I guess? Well, I mean, with this win, you could probably hit from 70, you know, honestly. <laughs> it's like a 15 mile hour. Okay, hour so it's right. say no win, still day. No win. Perfect conditions. Um, no Depends on where you're at. In Colorado, uh, last year we hit 67, which was pretty nice. But you know, obviously, the altitude in front of this arm. Just just leave it. That's mental win. That's the win that we were talking about. <laughs> what about what, what's the farthest that you need in practice here that you've um, I think 60 is kind of been, yeah, I mean, Coach Moore doesn't really put us in that situation. My, my goal is not really the, you know, the really long ones, you know, the 60-yarder was kind of just happened to, just happened to happen, and uh, my goal is kind of just be perfect inside 50, and then um, the long ones come as they come along. Do you have a kick that you're proudest of in your career? Proudest of my kick, that's a good one. Um, you know, I have to say, my freshman year, uh, my game winner uh, against Arizona State, that one, um, the, you know, just having the game on the line and um, drilling it, just keeping things simple and finishing through, and uh, it was a great feeling. How much of how, how much of a difference mentally between your first couple kicks got blocked, getting to there, w what changed in that time for you mentally or just as a kicker? Um, I think just, you know, not worrying about everything else outside. Uh, keeping my thoughts simple and worrying about one thing and just, you know, zoom focus as we say and uh, just doing what my job is. That's it. Not worrying about the circumstance or the situation or anything. And you won second team Pac-12 and then going for the Lou Groza. Did that affect how you, your, you thought your chances would be to win the Groza Award at all? 
Um, no, I don't really look at that kind of stuff. You know, it's just it's media, and uh, you know, I just want to keep working hard for my teammates, and um, you know, awards come and go, and uh, it's just it's a great honor, obviously. But um, yeah, I don't I don't worry about that too much. How did you first get involved in kicking? Uh, I mean, I played soccer from when I was really young, four years old. And then um, high school, I kind of took it more seriously. I had a really good kicking coach, Eric Hannum, who kind of taught me uh, pretty much the everything I know. And then it kind of branched off to Chris Saylor coming to Vegas, Kansas. He's the one who opened the door to UCLA. So it was your freshman year of high school when you first started kicking football then? Or? Yeah, freshman, sophomore year of high school is when I took it seriously. Did you join the football team with the intent to kick, or did you just happen yeah, to Yeah, I, I was strictly kicker then. Yeah. Didn't like getting hit, so. <laughs> Okay, when you were in high school, did you dream of going to the NFL? I mean, this is, you're going in that direction, right? You feel yourself going that way? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, you know, you're working towards that, and it's obviously a long process, but, um, you know, it's a, it's a goal, and uh, I hope to work there next year, and Obviously, it's going to be a long off season, but uh, in high school, yeah, you kind of you kind of watch TV and it's like, wow, could I could I do that? And um, you know, after a lot of hard work, it, you hope that's in the picture. So um, that's where it's headed.